Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and pre, I'm prepping my nacho chips and I'm just gonna show you how I do that so that you can have an idea in case you wanna make your kiddos some nachos or nachos for yourself. So this recipe is on my YouTube channel. I'm just showing you how I prep the chips. And so after you mix it, of course, I'm doing the final mixing procedure and then I'll go ahead and wrap it up and put it in the fridge and let that sit for at least an hour so that all these uh, ingredients can combine together. And there you have it. It's like a masa dough. I love it. So this is quinoa and kamut, you guys. And so I wrapped it in the parchment and now I'm taking it out and it's been sitting for a good hour and a half. And I will begin to separate my dough and roll it up. So you can take these, make them into separate little dough balls if you want. And then just, you know, flatten them out as you go. And, um, or you can just pick them off as you go. So I like to just flour my board. And then I'll go ahead and roll them out. And per serving... I would say it takes um, probably a couple tortillas per serving. So this is what it looks like when it's rolled out. Okay. It's very flexible, but it holds well together. And then we're just going to go ahead and put approved oil in the cast iron skillet. Flip it a couple times. Now you want to just cook these partially, you guys, because we are going to add them in the deep fryer. So then you're going to cut them up like so, and then you can do the shapes however you like. So you can either do them in a triangular shape like so, you know, and just cut them in triangles. The shape really doesn't matter to me, um, but it is some people have a preference. Or you can just cut them in strips, you know, like so. And so you're just going to cut all of them out, and then you're going to you know put them in your deep fryer or on the stove however you like the darker they get um you know the crispier they turn out they you know when they're super light then they could be a little flimsy but they will harden as they sit and there you go then you're gonna just blot all that oil off and um bam now you can add more seasoning salt you know more seasoning if you like but I like it just like that. And uh, there you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go make your nachos. Have a good one. And we'll see you in the kitchen soon. Take care.